So today we will look at uh, another virus called One System Care. It's more correctly to call it uh, not a virus, but potentially unwanted program. Uh, sometimes such programs are called Scareware. Uh, this is Windows optimization software, uh, uh, which is paid software, uh, and it shows you various alerts and uh, messages that your system have uh, serious problems. Uh, for example, you, ha you have here uh, 2096 problems and care level is terrible, although this is my clean um, test virtual machine. Uh, and to addition to all these uh, problems, uh, when we try to uninstall it, it may show you error like this you do not have, have sufficient access to uninstall one system care. Please contact your system administrator. Although I am a system administrator and I have all the rights on this computer, uh, this is message uh, that is used by the servers of this program uh, to prevent users from uninstalling uh, one system care. Uh, anyway, uh, you should not trust the uninstaller of a virus because uh, surely they want to keep the program on your computer. Uh, in addition to that, I uh, uploaded uh, the setup uh, of One System Care to the VirusTotal website, where you can scan any file with 54 antiviruses currently, and uh, major antiviruses like AVG, Avest, Edware. Um, Dr. Web, uh, Asset Not32, MCSoft, etc., etc., Malwarebytes detected um, this program as Edware or uh, Trojan or potentially wanted program. As you can see here. Uh, but the problem with antivirus is that uh, they uh, only remove uh, executable and DLL files and uh, cannot clean up. Uh, your system completely from uh, one system care. Uh, there are a couple of programs uh, that do uh, this task very well. One of them is SpyHunter. It detects not only files but also registry keys in every part of your registry, folders, uh, every file, uh, folders, not only program files but app data roaming folders, such deep-lying folders on your system. Uh, and you can use it to clean up your system from one system care as well as to protect your system from uh, the potential what programs when antiviruses sometimes uh, are not capable to do this. Uh, another program uh, is a free alternative uh, malware bytes anti-malware. Uh, as to my taste, it have a little less, uh, little less um, um, database uh, because it detects uh, less registry keys, less files, less folders, uh, and uh, do not detect some um, potential unwanted programs. But still, it uh, has free, um, free scan and free removal feature. Uh, you, you need to pay only for active protection. And you can also use it to remove this thread. I will run both programs um, to remove uh, one system carrier. As you can see, uh, the icon already disappeared from shortcut, already disappeared from desktop. Uh, and after removing these programs, you will need to reboot. I'll say no for now. Close malware bytes and let's wait until Spy Hunter will finish. And while it finishes removing procedures, I will explain to you that uh, if you want to somehow optimize the system um, to clean registry errors, to remove leftover items, you can use a free program. For example, one of the best uh, is CCleaner. It's totally free. Uh, you can pay for it, you can donate for it, uh, you can pay for the support, but uh, the program functionality 
uh, is completely free. We have many functions like uh, cleaning up temporary files, windows temporary files, browser temporary files, cookies, etc. Many, many options. Uh, it can fix registry errors. You have tools to uninstall some programs from your Windows 10, uh, remove some uh, processes from your startup, schedule tasks, uh, etc. You can also use it to remove uh, browser plugins from Google, uh, so which make it, makes it uh, very useful for a regular computer user. So uh, Spy Hunter finished uh, removing uh, one system care and I will restart my PC. Uh, thanks for watching, this was uh, a tutorial to show you how to remove one system care uh, unwanted program or virus. So subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, goodbye.